All right, so let's take a look at body multi -playing. Now, when you want to look at Toots playing, um, you have to look for certain body language cues. So here in a second, for example, you're going to see Malta doing the play bow. Here she runs away. She bows. Okay, she's perfectly initiating. Hey, do you want to play? Let's play. And then she jumps towards Bali. Uh, so that's perfectly, you know, a good signal when you keep seeing that. Also something like this where she turns around and now Bali is coming and looking, looking for her, right? Uh, same here. Again, the play bow, just as before. And then, you know, turn around and letting Ma Bali chase after her. Make sure they're taking some breaks like they're about to do here. Ooh. <laughs> And then just kind of look for for a balance, you know, that it's not always uh, one of the dogs dominating the other one, always on top, always initiating things, uh, you know, that they give breaks and they come back and forth at each other. So sometimes it can get quite loud and that's what scares us a lot. So, you know, just keep looking for the body language more than the vocalization. So here, this is quite dominant behavior from Bali, but you know, Malta just kind of goes up and uh, Bali's cool with it as well. So, you know, it's all still good. If they, if you feel that it gets a bit heated or if they're not taking breaks, then, you know, just make them take a break, make uh, let things calm down. And that's it. Because if one of the dogs gets more tired and is too tired now, you know, he might snap at the other one. 